What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Patman, and I am coming at you with a in-depth trailer analysis for both trailers that aired last night on The Walking Dead for Halo 5 Guardians, baby, the live-action trailer. So let's get right into it. All right, so the trailer begins with Agent Locke here walking out into this area. And if you guys notice here, I'll slow it down for you. If you guys notice in the top right corner, doesn't that look familiar? To Halo fans, that little area should look familiar, that little archway. So here you go. This is from a concept art from Halo 5 that released a long time ago. Here it is with the infinity up there and that little archway there. So obviously we're in an area from the concept art. All right, so here Locke is just talking away, and he says, All hail the conquering hero. Let us remember him as our protector, and not the one who gave us this. And he's referring to this barren wasteland. Like, see how he's just saying to this? So obviously this place has seen better days. Uh, something happened here, a great battle probably, or maybe a fight between him and Chief that totally wrecked this city. So Locke goes on to say, let us see him as our savior and not our betrayer. So here you can see Chief in the monument there. Obviously he's talking to Chief. Now notice this monument. Take a good look at it. Look how perfect and pristine it looks. Uh, you know, he's talking about the character of Chief, that perfect image. It's like really good symbolism. But here we get a really good look at the heads up display and you see it's a lot like Halo 5's beta. Looks like you have recharging shields, recharging health, a compass um, you know your weapon your map but here is interesting because he says let us forever see him as you and he's talking to statue and not as you when he looks down at chief which is pretty interesting stuff you know then he does like a little force grab with the weapon he says all hail the conquering hero the one who was supposed to save us all but now I must save us from you and he's talking to chief so, wow. Goosebumps, right? Alright, so I was like, woo! All aboard the hype train, baby. Woo, woo! And I was like, but wait. Dude, there's no way they're killing Chief. They can't do this. No, 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 no. But then it said, the truth is never what it seems. Stay tuned for the other side of the truth. So, we got a second trailer last night. And this time, it's almost a complete contrast to what the lock trailer is. It's from Chief's perspective. So... We'll get right into the breakdown for that. All right, so the very first thing that should hit you is the the setting, like the daytime, like the totally different change in day and night. So here we get a good perspective of Chief's heads up display. It has like the health system from the old, like Halo One and Halo Reach. Um, obviously, his armor is actually outdated compared to Locke's. Locke has a very new set of armor and new technology, so that's something to keep in mind. So that's something to keep in mind when you're playing as Chief because you do play as both Locke and Chief in Halo 5. But here Chief is talking and he says this. Is this what you wanted? Is this what you were looking for? Was everything that you've compromised, everything you've done, worth it? Was it? And it's really interesting because it's like Chief is talking to himself. You know, I kind of thought he was talking to himself with this whole betraying the UNSC thing and all that, you know, after Cortana, you know, spoiler alert, died. And it kind of looks like he's talking to the statue, almost. And take a look at the statue. It's broken. The statue is broken and it has, you know, chunks missing out of it. So does that, is that how Chief views himself? Like the symbolism is crazy. You know, how Locke viewed it and how Chief is looking. So I, I think that's really cool. But then he goes on just to tell Locke, he, he, you know, you think he's talking to himself and then he looks down at Locke. And he tells uh, Locke, you know, you've completed your mission, Spartan Locke. He does his little force grab thing, sweet thing. And then he tells Locke, he points the gun at Locke and he says, but mine is just beginning. So, boom. Instant mind fuck. Because we don't know if Chief is dying or not. You know, in the one trailer, it's like, oh my god, Locke is going to murder Chief. And then in this one, it's like, there's going to be like 10 more Halo games with Chief in it because his his mission is just beginning, he's saying. So, I thought it was crazy cool, guys, seeing both sides. Maybe we're going to get two sides of the story as far as maybe the stuff we do in the campaign is going to affect 
the outcome of the game. If you make the choices as Locke and as Chief and you know, whatever side I guess you favor more is what happens. Maybe Chief dies, but then how's that going to set up the rest of the series? You know, what kind of games are you going to do? Like, I don't know if you import your decisions via Mass Effect, you know, through the next Halo games, which would be crazy. It'd be cool. It'd be different. But um, besides that, maybe they're just, uh, it, it's up to us to decide, you know, what in our heads they're going to have, like, alternate endings or something. Who knows? Uh, I think it's going to be interesting. They're really like setting this story up crazily. I have faith in 343. They had an awesome story of 4. I've told you guys this. I don't think Halo 4's gameplay was the best out of the Halo series, but its storytelling was uh, leaps and bounds to me above Bungie. And you got to got to see a different side of Chief. So I'm super excited. All the Born to Hype train, like I said, whoop, whoop. Uh, I'm going to come at you guys with another video breaking down because uh, we got an audio log last night for the other hunt, the truth thing with uh, Benjamin Gerard um, and and his uh, reports. So that should be interesting. But I just want to give you guys a trailer breakdown. Please, if you guys like this video, please subscribe for more Halo news and actually all your video game news right here at Triforce Gaming Network. If you like the video, click the like button, smash that like button. If you didn't like it, hit the dislike and let us know in the comments what we could do better. Uh, give us some feedback, guys. Love you guys, and until next time, Pat Man out.